Our blue team, mostly from Germany, mostly StarCraft 2 pros, here they are. It is well met. And we have in the mid lane on Tesla, Zake in the top lane, Nomi is playing Stitches. And in the bot lane we have Hiroki on Uther, Asuops playing Tychus and Hysterica playing Sergeant Hammer. And on the right hand side, in the red trunks, it is real style. And in the top lane, on the Muradin, we have Necrothick. On the fro on the Frawl, we have Genesis. In the mid lane, on the Anubarak, we have... Hold still. Uh, <laughs> Gandisaurus. Gandisaurus. That's a great name. And in the bot lane, it is Sasuke and Icky on the Valor and Malfurion. Ah, let's have a look here. How they're setting this up. Looks like Hasweps and Tiruki are hiding in the bushes here. Just waiting for Team Real Style to come out. 3 versus 2, this could actually work out. Uh, there's a stun on Nikki. And a nice follow up by Hasu, putting on a little bit of damage. And the displays, of course, with a dr grenade uh, onto Iki. But it wasn't quite enough here. Yep, not quite enough, but does drop a bit of harassment down. And this is an interesting setup. This is a. Uh, the, the party lane seems to be the more standard amongst a lot of the higher level teams now, which is what we see from Well Met. But the standard lower level lane setup of just the 2 1 2 is what we're seeing from Real Style. So, possibly some newer players coming in here. We are seeing most of them using default skin tints, so that might be the case. Except for Frawl, who uh, is running the green tint on his. Uh, the green tint on his skin, so someone's actually paid money and got him all the way to level 8 here. Yeah, not bad. And, um, I mean, probably one of the one of the first nice investments into Thrall there. Oh, nice hook here by Nomi, Ooh. but no follow-up, of course. Uh, he was also kind of low on mana, so no real way for him to do that much damage. Jenison and Necrotic will try to um, find out if they can get a couple seeds here on the left side. Nomi is sticking to lane, and down here in the bot lane, Iki and Sasuke can't really quite get out. Yep, but uh, at the moment, I'm not going to have too much trouble. I apologize for how my voice sounds. Something appears to be happening to my throat today. But, uh, <coughs> excuse me. But, yeah, like you said, they were able to steal some seeds. Uh, Real Style were able to steal a couple seeds from over on the Well Met side. And are now going for their own, actually uh, catching up a bit in seeds, but like you said, oh, what a made already going to go for Sasuke. Out, but there's the route onto Hiruki. Oh, Sasuke goodness. is nevertheless taken out here. Asuops and Hysterica doing some good work, putting on some real damage, and now with one of the heroes gone here in this bottom lane, they can really pile on the damage and push this lane really hard. First tower will fall, and Iki trying to stop it with a good route, but looks like Hiruka just standing there. He's not having any of this. Yep, Hiruka does not care. He is just healing himself back up as he goes, and is just wailing on these towers. He doesn't care about that brute. I don't think that's in range to hit him. No, it is not. And Hysterica is in range to hit the tower and is going to wipe that out. And that's quite a bit of an XP lead going over to Well Met. Seed count, however, is uh, pretty much exactly split for both teams as Well Met were able to get all of the bot lane seeds and Real Star were able to get everything from that top lane thanks to the fact they have two members up there. And now they're finally deciding to go for that Chambler, or are they? Yep, uh, Muradin and Thrall is going for that Chambler. There comes the dive by Anubarak, and they're getting the first few seeds. Well, Matt shouldn't notice this now. Zaka saw them passing by, and so did uh, the remainder of the team here. But they're taking their own Chambler, so it looks like it's going to be even on the seeds. Except if one team finishes their Chambler off a little bit faster. And it's real style here, maybe they can make something happen. Nah, uh, they're a bit too a far tiny, away. Tiny yeah. 90 to... Uh, 90 to 89, in fact. There's one seed that's just been left here. Unpicked up. Very lonely. But oh. we are going to see a almost exactly even split for both teams. Neither one getting a plant terror on the first night. And, uh, however, Well Met came out far better in this due to the fact that they got a level advantage, got a kill, and got their pushing much more... Uh, got a lot more pushing done. Thanks to the fact that they were hanging around in the lanes more and just going for seeds when it was more opportunistic rather than focusing them at the objective. Yep. Um, let's go a little bit into the uh, pick talents here. I see uh, Conjurer's Pursuit on Tassila instead of um, instead of the uh, Storm upgrade. So he's going to have a little bit less mana problems, but maybe um, 
doesn't have quite the range here on his storms. That's quite interesting, actually, because there are two upgrades for his storm. One of them is, like you said, the range. The other one is mana regen, where for every target he hits, he gains back mana. So taking Conjurer's Pursuit means he's going to be focusing a lot more on dropping shields down, maybe than storming large groups of targets. Mm -hmm. And do you know what happens if that last seat is not picked up? It just chills. It will it will still be there by the time the next terror spawns, and it, in oh, fact, okay. it'll actually displace the terror a little, make it face a different direction. Not as going to matter because Haruke just picked it up. <laughs> okay. Um. Well. So, yeah, any, they have a uh, seeds, at, seeds, here? and uh, Nazi bow spiders and uh, stuff like that. They have physical presence to mobs and mercenaries, mm -hmm. but not to minions and heroes. Okay. Interesting. Interesting way uh, how these game game mechanics play out. Um, mm -hmm. By the way, also a cool style here on Stitches. They've just reached level 10, so um, he is going for Gorge. But a he cool took, uh, style took or a real a style? Devour, um, a lot of Devour talents. Yeah, this is, a, this is a build that we're seeing come into the EU quite a bit more. It was uh, used uh, more... Con I'm not saying it wasn't used on the EU, but it was used more consistently in the NA scene where it's basically making Stitches a whole lot more tankier than he is in exchange for the slam build. And uh, against this comp, slam build isn't really that, isn't really a hugely important build, and it also means that since you're not going slam build, you don't really need to take the mini stun, and you don't have to feel as bad for taking the fishing hook at that level instead. Hysterica right now, tanking everything, doesn't kill off the four Hasselwobs, and Hysterica are going to finally finish that off with Napalm and a Grenade. But uh, yeah, this Stitches build is a bit more standard than they and has made its way into EU over the last four or, four or five weeks. Oh, Rawl and Murden are in trouble. Oh, Genesis, he's gonna die here. There's a Sundering, he's trying There's to stop the heels. this. And a good CC out of Hiruke. Iggy is caught in the middle of all of this. Hysterica catching quite a bit of damage as well. He gets the shield though. Nomi's in trouble up there on top, but he will be taken out. Oh, real style, they're pushing this back. Hasuab will pop out of the Odin. Can he run away? Yes, he can. There comes another stun, but looks like they're in full-on retreat mode now. One-on-one, -on -one, still pretty good steal, uh, or pretty good uh, fight here for real style. Yep, not bad at all. So, okay, coming down here, just making sure he gets some vision of where the enemy team is. He knows they're around that area, so there's not a chance of going in for a seed steal. They are going to hang around here, around the Shambler, though, see if they, the Terra, though, see if they can maybe steal some of that. Nope, they're just going to go for the top one and let real style go for the bot one and this is well met style they seem to like to let teams do their own thing quite a lot rather than take risky fights and then go in when they have an opportunity yeah they're just trying to get ahead uh, in the xp game as, as far as, as far as they can and then in between just wait for a little mistakes that the opponent makes yeah and uh, someone in the chat pointed out triple battle momentum on mm -hmm. the side of a uh, real style there. On Thrall it's pretty standard, but on the other two, not so much. And we also have Strafe uh, taken by Lala. Yeah, we saw that a lot yesterday, and pretty much every single time it was taken, it was possibly the wrong move, but every time it was taken, it worked really well, because no one interrupted it. But uh, we will see how it works this time. There's actually still a fair amount of stun. In fact, pretty much it, everyone has some kind of interrupt or stun for this, except for Tastar, who is currently in the Plant Terror, and wow, oh, that is Gandhi a is very good nice track. hook here by Nomi. Yep, Strafe is used, gets the full duration off, but it only hit Tigers and Sokke. Those two easily going to be able to shrug that off. As we can see, Sokke is going to just hang here for a bit. <laughs> and then we get ready, look for him to tag on. Nice hook onto on Genesis, Roll. there's the on top of him. And Genesis, he's taken out. The Karotic might be stopped here as well, but nope, he's in the Avatar form. Not for now, but there comes the Body Block, and Taken out Hiruki, really good body blocker here. Yep, very nice job there. And what we actually saw there was we saw him get polymorphed by the Plant Terror as he tried to use his Sundering. Sundering very much like Hinterland Blast in the way that it can be interrupted during the cast animation. Yep. So we did see Thrall go down. Bit of a timing window there. At the top, yeah. the Dragon Terror 4 real style still working away here at this board, but it's only Icky and Hasuops is going for him. Nice displacement there on the grenade. But he's healing himself back up, and Hasuops is quickly running Oh, he's popped Tranquility, that's not enough. Tranquility is not enough. Oh, it's run out! First aid's had to be popped! He has a mob actually taking a lot of damage. He's had to back up. Those oh, minions doing to too much out, damage. coming for him, he definitely needs to hardstone away here. Yep, and oh, down, goes the, back in there. down goes the four. Hasselwobs 
is still going for it. There's the heal again, but this time won't oh. be enough. He was taking too much minion aggro last time. This time, Hasselwob's able to finish it off. The push out of the rest of World Met has finally been pushed back, but they were able to take down both turrets and the gate in that middle lane. Yeah, quite, quite far ahead already. Um, only one four taken down by real style. Two forts, four well met. And we'll see the mercenaries have been taken here. See what is Moment doing. Also take mercenaries two at a time. I really like this. They had some pretty good vision. They still had one hero down, so why not go for the double take here? Yep, I've also just realized I'm an idiot. Just I, I don't think the stream's caught up yet, but I'm still an idiot. Saying that battle momentum isn't standard on Valor, it definitely is. I just completely brain derped there. Taking battle momentum, especially when you have Frost Shot, which has been taken, it makes so much more sense because you just get so many more uh, multi shots off. Oh, Sea Giants doing some quick work here in the mid lane. And looks like all of Real Style is pushing this, and this is a really strong push right now. But they're a level behind, and Realmat is almost up to level 16, which is a really vital level, so I doubt that Real Style will actually fight for this. Yeah, oh, Tisdingo is calling you out. Tisdingo is calling you out on the battle momentum. Oh, you're too slow, Tisdingo. I've already corrected myself. <laughs> but uh, Way I back in the future. <laughs> yeah, it's got you back in the future, Tisdingo. <laughs> oh well. But uh, we're currently seeing well met roam their way down to the bottom lane. They're going to try and catch someone out. Stitches already there. The knock up from Anubrak does not hit, and we see Stitch. Oh, Stitches has mm, already gorged gorge something. Who is that? That's for all, he has back. to go out, Gate is down though, but he goes down so quick, stun lands on Nomi, but Tigus has come in from the top, and Tigus does get knocked up, so we're gonna see Valor actually get away here, full strafe duration goes off and does basically nothing, but the rest of real style are gonna be able to back out here, Hasselwobs, they could have maybe turned on him, but they were just too busy running away, so they are able to back out and play it safe. Uh, good thing on that full out retreat mode. Uh, having lost Thrall there a little bit carelessly, but Nomi threw a good hook. Um, so I think that's that was definitely pretty good. And I gotta call out Hiroki here. I mean, he's doing some a really good job just body blocking everyone, stopping them from getting away, and consistently doing so in this entire match. Yeah, Ufa is pretty good for stuff like that. Well met. Have hit their uh, have hit their level 16 talents, and we do see the pulverize being taken by Stitches anyway, just to add that extra CC for Valor, choosing that over the fishing hook, and we see the relentless though over the increased radius. So Stitches just gonna be the fact that he is so tanky, he can still be a frontliner, doesn't have to rely on the longer range from that extra from uh, that pulverize upgrade, that slam upgrade. Sorry. And they they gotta be. A Really, um, yeah, they gotta be uh, really, really um, uh, strong on, on their play here because Harden Focus is taken by Uther and a double scone skin for uh, both Sergeant Hammer and Tychus. I might, this might just be British, but I, I thought I misheard you say scone skin, but yeah, uh, <laughs> that I might I just be my British that's shining through. <laughs> so, what would that mean? Scone skin. Um, it's just the most delicious type of skin you can have. It is It is very nice. <laughs> right now we see Sokei coming in, looking for the engage on Genesis from the other side. He's going to try and block him off, stop him from escaping. The rest of Well Met are here. Full overdrive, going to land onto this. Genesis throwing out a ball. still hits no one. There's the knock-up onto Sokei and the very, very large route coming down. Sasuke, once again, going to get all of that uh, strafe off with very little result. Oh, there's the gorge onto Malfurion. That's all of their healing about to go down the drain. Down goes Icky. Genesis is also about to pop out of this, and we're going to see full retreat mode coming out, but there's the Divine Storm onto Genesis. There's the double stun, and he does drop down. The retreat is in full action. Oh, very close there by real style, but so much chase potential here coming out of well met. They're going after Necrotic here. He's gonna try and get away. Sokke getting the polymorph does get it, but Avatar's already been activated, so he does have that extra 2,000 health. He there almost comes another route, to escape. and he's taken out. Really he almost escaped to work for the hook. Yeah, good, good hook by Nomi. Tried once before, but this time it worked. Now, the heroes are down, so they can go for this keep. They will almost definitely take it out. I mean, Zaka is about to pop out of this terror, but it doesn't really matter. It's only only uh, Rack and Valor remaining. But Fyrin will join this fight pretty soon, but I don't think they can stop them from taking down this keep. Yeah, this keep is definitely gone. Hysterica could probably take this out just on his own, sitting here in the back, and that's actually what's going to happen here due to the rest of the team retreating. It's okay. Punted out of that terror. He's just going to drop some harassment down onto the tower. Is completely fine though, getting out of that Malfurion tangling roots. 
and uh, they were going to set a small trap here with Sokka as the bait. But Icky once again gets annihilated. There's the strafe. Hysterica just does not care though. Tags it all. There's the hook from Stitches. Sasuke trying to get out. He's so low. Muradin coming in to try and body block anything that comes his way. Holy Radiance does not land. Nobi is giving chase. Where's the hook? It's far oh, out of range now. Sasuke no way to go down. Getting away, but, Genesis. but Genesis will not. Yeah, okay, Genesis gave his life to Sasuke. Not sure that was too worth it. This is going to be that well met. Get another keep basically for free. Looking so good right now. It's been a while since we've had a, since I, I at least have had a chance to cast them, and they are still completely on form. Yep, they're still on top of things. Um, but then again, this is uh, a newer team. This was their first play here uh, for Real Style. I think they played quite well so far, but now getting a little bit picked apart here. Um, every um, uh, ever since level 16 or so. And yeah, that's uh, well matched. Just going for this Garden Terror, taking out a lot of seeds. They will have the next Shambler available. Yeah, so they're going to be... They are in a great position right now. There's only one keep left. There is a fort actually at the top plane that has been left alone. Only lost half its ammo. I don't need a little bit of health, but... A Garden Terror is going to make very short work, work of that. So, okay, once again, the only one without CC is going to be the one grabbing the Plant Terror. He is the safest once he comes out of it. He is going to move up to the top plane and take out that four, as well as the mercenaries that are pushing up there. The rest of Well Met already in the mid lane, just making sure that the little push coming out from Real Style doesn't get too much damage done. They are all there. They're going to be on the defensive, while the Plant Terror actually has decided that he wants to come down here. He cleans the mercenaries with the Bulb. And is now coming down once again for the fight. What do you think about um, not tagging the bruisers there? They could have tagged the bruisers and then gone for the Garden Terror? Um, I think they wanted the Garden Terror as quick as possible. I'm not, mm -hmm. I'm not sure why. They probably could have tagged the bruisers. But uh, they can get them afterwards. Just keep the pressure on so that they have more time when the next night spawns. Well, Matt, it's almost level 20. This is probably why they didn't do it. They wanted to have this little, nice little timing window with the Shambler, with level 20, everything ready. And now yeah, they're just, just going for it. Odin has been popped. Tank is sieged yeah. up in the background. Nobi gets the hook onto Sasuke. There's the Divine Hurricane. And down goes Valor. And this will be GG. That's their main damage source gone. Thrall, is, there's no way he's going to be able to get in here. Tranquility has been popped with the knockback lines, preventing anything from happening. Asawabs gets taken down to zero, but that just pops him out of Odin. He does not care. And that is GG. Well met. We'll be moving on to the round of 32. Not losing a single member in this last push. Two members of Real Style are polymorphed at the end there, just for extra style.